he didn't turn it over anymore, and we can get close to him anymore. So, uh, obviously, our plan is always to go hit the quarterback and uh, reroute receivers and make it tough for him and see if our front can get there. We didn't get there. You, I assume you have to go You don't go right, I do. But you were not able to somehow infuse that. Absolutely. Out. Obviously, I wasn't. I mean, and that starts with me. I mean, like I tell you, I mean, I got to there, – there's, there's – um, I got to fix it. That's all I can tell you. It's, it starts with me, and I got to fix it. But don't – you know, I'm not gonna. I'm pissed about this. Uh, it'll wear on me for quite a while, but obviously, it's gonna push me into this next season to really make um, everybody that's here understand. Because um, this one's gonna burn in me for a long time. Uh, to make everybody understand what it takes to win consistently in this league. I mean, I'm I'm tired of hearing we don't have good enough players. We have good enough players. Have good enough players, and um, our some of these good enough players got to start playing good. And um, we got to make plays. You got to challenge to make plays. And you got to finish plays. Or if you don't. You don't get beat. Well, I, I, like I said, what's gone on, you know, I, I know you guys are alluding to defense. Defense on the defensive side of the ball, what, what I've seen today is kind of what I saw, you know, other than some, some things here and there at different times. I, I've seen the same thing. I mean, when you play defense in the National Football League, man, you got to hunt. You can't, you can't give up 20, 29 points and expect to win. You, you're not going to do that. You know, and I, I've, I've challenged our guys. I've challenged everybody, and uh, obviously we're not responding to it. So we gotta get better. Well, we'll see. You know, uh, we'll see. Obviously, I think Chuck knows how I feel. I'm disappointed. You know, um, over there I have been. We, we, it's not like we haven't had conversations. So Chuck knows what I feel, and um, it's not good enough. I'm not going to answer that right now. Is there a reason why you didn't negotiate more saying that? No, we talked earlier. No, I, me and North have a good relationship. I was just pissed. I need to get inside. I didn't want to be harassed by people. I got the utmost respect for Norv. Norv knows that. Um, we talked before the game at length. So, no, there was no, there's no issue between me and Norv or anything like that. I wish Norv well. Norv has, has a good football team. I kept telling people he's one of the better coaches in this league. He proved it today. He came in here and kicked our tails. Wow. As raw an emotion as you will see from anyone in a post-game press conference, Hugh Jackson addressing a myriad of things. As quick as I've seen him come out and address the media after a, uh, the finish of a ball game, he is, I'm going to use the term angry, he used something else about a half dozen times. Angry uh, at this game. Pissed off. That's what he said. And he said it over okay. a half dozen times. Yeah. He, he said he needs hunters. He said he needs to hold these guys accountable. He need they weren't good enough. You know what? I, I, I've seen this guy hold this stuff in for a season. And, you know, hats off to you. Because you had to live with this bull crap for a season. Guy's not flying around. Guy's not hustling. Guy's not tackling. You know, when you got to... Motivate guy, you gotta come up. They're playing football. Do you have to come in here and say, "Come on, guys, these are professionals that need to get motivated every time they take the field." Hugh Jackson, you got every right to be pissed off. I'm pissed off. Tony, you're pissed off. <laughs> Jimmy, you are too. I am. I am. It's ridiculous, guys. It is. Ridiculous. Hats off to Hugh Jackson, Tony. I like what he had to say. That is raw. That is real. And that is one hell of a football coach. Well, you know we love to keep it real and keep it raw here, Romo. You're right. For the first time this year, because every game, Hugh Jackson comes out when the, when the Raiders lose and says, it's on me, i got to do a better job, it's my team, I'm taking it. Today, he took the heat too, but he finally put the fingers on the players who he didn't feel went out there and played hard enough. He said things like, that they're not good enough, they need an attitude adjustment, i got to fix it. Not good enough on defense. So there's no doubt they asked him about Chuck Bresnahan's future, and obviously he's not going to answer it. And he said he talked to this defensive coordinator, but I don't think there's any doubt. Uh, I don't know whether Chuck Bresnahan's going to get fired, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be major changes on that Raider defense. Well, you absolutely have to be right on that one. You take a look at some of the things he said. He said, we've been hanging on for life on defense all year long. That's a direct shot there. And he also challenged his team in the, force of the, in the uh, part of the game, and he said, here's your time. Here's your time to make a play. No one responded to that. And we got to run uh, to break real quick. We're going to look at a set of numbers later on, but we got to get play reaction. Kate Longworth at the Coliseum. Paul Gutierrez, our insider, is at the Coliseum. We'll go there and look at this game. A 38-26 loss. The Raiders missed the playoffs. Yeah.